Are you ready for the next natural disaster or any other major calamity? Are you able to have clean running water when the power is out? Are you able to keep your family fed for an extended period of time without going to the store? Are you able to heat your home when the utilities aren't working? If you answered no to any of these questions, you need to come to the Sustainable Preparedness Expo on Sunday, May 15th at the Spokane County Fairgrounds in Spokane, Washington from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. There will be multiple seminar presentations on topics like disaster preparedness, wilderness survival, preparing for emergency medical and dental situations, water well hand pumps, fire management on the homestead, permaculture gardening to feed your family year-round, emergency communications, food preservation, making a living on your homestead, and many more practical sessions on preparing for whatever may come. Sign up for hands-on classes to learn emergency surtering, emergency dental procedures, and how to prepare a bug-out bag. In addition, there will be top-quality items available from dozens of vendors to assist you in meeting your preparation needs. We are bringing in expert presenters and vendors from around the country who will be able to answer your questions about preparedness. Admission is only $12 per person. Kids 12 and under are free. For more information, go to susprepexpo.com. That's S-U-S prepexpo.com. Come to the Spokane County Fairgrounds on Sunday, May 15th at 10 a.m. for the Sustainable Preparedness Expo, where you can learn the practice of perpetual preparedness. You're listening to the Mountain Woman Radio Show, which can be found on our website at treyerwilderness.com and also on iTunes. Welcome to the Mountain Woman Radio Show, where we are homesteading traditionally 100% off-grid today and offering preparedness and survival tips for tomorrow. Here's your host, Tammy Treyer. Hey guys, Tammy Treyer, Mountain Woman Radio. Thank you so much for joining me today. I thought today I would record while I am out walking. Uh, It's been a while since we've chatted. Um, As many of you know, I had major surgery done in January, actually on January 29th. So Friday was seven weeks for me from my surgery. And part of my protocol is getting out and exercising. And this is my first solo walk with the dogs since my surgery. My mountain man or mountain boy or dear friend Rhonda from the Farmer's Lamp has been joining me and uh, walking with me as as we can and as I feel up to it and uh, it's been a real blessing to me. I feel so, so good this last week. This week is the first week that I really actually felt human more or less. Uh, I'm definitely at a slower pace and uh, my brain is not always with me, but physically I'm feeling really great. So I just feel that God quite honestly has me right where he wants me right now, at a nice slow pace, doing what he wants me to do and taking care of myself. I've been sleeping in a lot. My body has been getting into these extremely deep sleeps, like right when the alarm's supposed to go off. So I've just been giving into my body and listening to it and resting and I do still get quite tired but these walks are just so invigorating and it is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous day here in northern Idaho we have a beautiful sun and uh, it just feels really good to be out here so I thought you know what better place and what better time to record a personal show with you guys like I said it's been a while I hope that you listen to the uh, podcast 129 which you can find at our website, treyerwilderness.com 
slash podcast 129 or you can find it on iTunes if you're a subscriber there but that is the uh, it was actually a video that my husband and I did and I turned it into a, a podcast so if you haven't listened to it I'd encourage you to go and watch the video on our YouTube channel youtube.com slash Trayer Wilderness for those of you that are new to my show it's T R A Y E R Wilderness and uh, you'll find our health journey video there but it's it's very personal and hopefully you can hear me it's kind of windy out here so I'm sorry if we're catching a lot of wind I'm gonna try to walk a little different so maybe um, block in the wind a little bit here I don't think I'm being very successful, but hopefully you can hear me. I'll be able to edit this a little later and maybe cut some of the wind out, but get down here out of the wind. This is nothing like real wilderness recording for today. <laughs> and you might need to hear me whistle one of our dogs is Ah, oh, thanks, Copper. I just got tossed with mud. <laughs> the dog went through the mud pie here. But um, one of our dogs, is his hearing is starting to go, so I have a very high-pitched whistle that I need to blow to keep him with me. He worries me that he gets off a little bit too far from me, and with the wolves and coyotes and stuff, he'd be game because he wouldn't hear him coming. So, but, uh, yeah, I encourage you to listen to that and watch our video. Uh, it's very personal, uh, and it, for those of you that have listened, I appreciate it, and please pass it on, but I, we really felt led to share our story because there are so many people that may be affected by what I was. Uh, I was literally dying. Uh, my organs were starting to shut down and struggle. They had been for quite a while. My health was deteriorating for three years, so it's a pretty scary thing not knowing why and also having all these mass oddities of symptoms that just couldn't be explained. So for those of you um, that might have some form of silicone in your body, whether it is a breast implant, a silicone or a saline breast implant, or whether you have a stomach belt or any of the ports, medical ports that are put in your body and you're having very odd symptoms. I'm going to be putting a post out on our blog this week of symptoms to look for and I'm also going to be putting a post out in regard to the protocol that I'm using so that I can continue to aid and help people that are struggling and suffering with this. But if you have symptoms of fibromyalgia, um, Lyme disease, MS, heart palpitations, uh, tingling in your limbs, fire in your limbs. That's one thing I really struggled with. And also digestive struggles. My whole abdominal system was swelled. And uh, I couldn't sit for more than 15 minutes straight without being uncomfortable or oftentimes in pain. I ended up with a hiatal hernia because everything was so swollen. And there's really nowhere for anything to go. So, and there were so many different barrages of symptoms. That weird allergies, I uh, developed a histamine intolerance. And uh, these are all odd symptoms that are from silicone poisoning. So if you have listened, you're aware that I had smooth saline breast implants that I chose to have implanted in 2004. I had had two different surgeries, one in 1991 and one in 2004, removing breast lumps. And they were both from the right side, which caused an extremely huge difference in size difference between the two. And, you know, if you could kick yourself, your younger self in the butt, now would be the time I'd be doing it just because I really lost three years of my life to an illness that most doctors are shoving under the rug or providing uh, antidepressants to the patients that come to see them because 
either they don't understand it or they don't want to be bothered by it. And uh, this past week, you got to listen to Dr. Susan Kolb. She is the angel who explanted my implants and also put me on a protocol to better health. It's going to be six months to 18 months of recovery time as far as getting all the garbage out of my system. Metals, heavy metals, um, silicone, molds, biotoxins, fungus, bacteria. I mean, it was really an ugly scene as far as all the things that were going wrong with my body at one time. But what's really awesome is before my surgery, I couldn't walk more than a quarter mile without my husband's help. And I mean like him holding me, holding my arm to make sure that I would end up where I was supposed to. Oh, bear with me, folks. There we go. Got my old man. Okay. So now that I'm able to walk, I've been focusing on trying to walk at least three to five miles a day. And I've been managing to do five. Then I go home and rest. <laughs> and if I can't walk, I'll do the exercise bike when it's raining. And that has been a huge help. It's really tough, though, because people don't understand. I have good days and I have bad days. It sounds like I'm doing awesome because I'm doing all this physical activity, but it stirs the pot with the toxins. When you have toxins moving around your body, it can be kind of... Okay, let me repeat that. It can, It is rough on the body because you have toxins that either work their way out of your system and on their way out, you know, they're giving your body a hard time, or you have toxins that get stirred up and they settle in in certain areas. Before my surgery, I was doing a protocol to try to give my body relief that I'd make it long enough to my surgery and... Uh, the toxins would set into my eyebrow, my left eyebrow and my sinuses, and I would just get such excruciating face pain and headaches to the point that they would make me sick. So I've been experiencing or had been experiencing a lot of nausea and dizziness and just headiness where I just couldn't keep a thought to save my life. And for somebody that depends on their head to do all their writing and functioning and thinking and web designing it was a bit much but I'm happy to say I'm back in the saddle again just taking things slow so I wanted to mention that for all of my loyal listeners I'm going to be just uh, recording shows twice a month for right now I just need to give myself a break and to not have so much pressure on myself so that's what I've decided to do so keep listening and I really encourage you to go to iTunes and leave a review if you like the show because those reviews help get me noticed in more people's iTunes threads and become featured, which would be great because I really feel that we have a strong message to share with people and the more people we can reach, the better we will be. And uh, so if you'd be so kind as to do that, I would greatly appreciate it. So, I hope you guys have been well. I encourage you guys to reach out to me if there's topics or certain people you'd like to have interviewed. You can reach me at survive at treyerwilderness.com and just drop me a line. Love to hear from you. Those of you that are suffering from or know someone that does have silicone poisoning, feel free to reach out to me also. There's some really good materials that I'll be sharing in my post this week as far as resources and support groups because, believe it or not, this is something that has caused a lot of suicides because these women have gone to, some have gone to 50-some-plus doctors and have been told that it's in their head. Uh, one of the ladies... In Dr. Kolb's book, which was just amazing to me, it, it creeped me out because I'm a tough girl and I don't mind picking up snakes and doing that kind of stuff, but 
I hate spiders only because I have extreme allergic reactions to them and this just kind of touches that level but she um, ended up with something called Magellan's disease I believe I'm saying that correctly I might forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that right but it is a disease where your body pretty much gets overtaken by parasites and they're very hard to uh, removed from the body and she had parasites coming out of her eyes, her tear ducts, and out of her ears. It ruined her vision in one of her eyes and she lost hearing and this is an artist and just a beautiful woman, you know, and had one of those 54 doctors listen to her, you know, she may not have lost part of her vision or her hearing. You know, our medical system today is just twisted. It's all about money and it's all about you know, following the books. If it's not in the book, then you couldn't possibly have what you're talking about, you know, and that's just really sad to me. Either that or let's medicate it. Let's get them heavily medicated and and they'll be fine. We'll just mask the problem with drugs because that'll bring in some more money for our government it really irritates me but that's a whole subject that I just don't don't want to dive into because I'm really not quite happy with the way things are today but I encourage you to spread the word and encourage you to seek help if you're were if you you have if you feel you have this and you're worried about removing them and how you will look. There are other options. You can have fat transplanted in place of your implants. And there are some people that can successfully have implants and not have any physical problems or medical related problems. But they're not for everybody. And quite honestly, I'm just so thankful to have my life back. My quality of my life and my family is so much more valuable than anything on this planet. And, you know, I live in the wilderness. And regardless where I lived, you know, my, my chest shouldn't be more important than my life or my family. And that's how I look at it. I'm just thankful to be back to myself. Thankful to be on the healing side of things. Thankful for people like Dr. Kolb who devote their entire life to researching this and using yourself herself as a guinea pig to be able to help people. So I just encourage you to embrace this and realize that there are no tests that can be done to prove whether you have silicone poisoning or not. But when I put the list on our website at treyerwilderness.com, and you have a mass number of those symptoms and you have silicone in your body, you can be pretty sure that that's where it's all coming from. Your body's trying to fight that silicone and it won't be healthy till they're gone. My husband could not believe how much better I looked an hour after my surgery in the recovery room. My color, my face, I mean, it was just amazing. Three days later, the swelling in my stomach started going down. You know, and it's just, it's just a crazy thing. You know, we make decisions when we're young. You know, they're not all bad. You know, some people decide to have breast implants because they've had a mastectomy or have had birth defects. You know, and mine wasn't explicitly out of vanity that I did have some surgeries that altered things and at the time and where I was at in my life it mattered to me you know but I'm so blessed to have a man in my life who loves me for who I am who cares for me for who I am and stands by and supports me through everything and that's what marriage is about and I can't tell you how proud I was for the words he spoke in our video you know it's really important when you know your spouse goes through something difficult to 
stand by them. And, you know, that's exactly where I'd be for him, you know, and that's what we signed up for, you know, for sickness and in health. And it's really important that you're there to support each other. And I'm very blessed that way. He was a good caregiver and he's my best friend. And I encourage you men that are listening, you know, to remember to be there for your wives and, uh, you know, wives, don't forget to be there for your men when they have hard times, too. We all process things differently than one another. All right, I lost my... Oh, no, there he is. thought I lost my furry furry child. But, you know, I really encourage you, too, to really put a value on your life. You know, what is most important to you? We've talked... I know I talk about this and encourage you to brace your dreams and to do what's important to you, but also remember who is important to you, you know, to slow down, smell the roses, put your trust in God, you know, remove yourself of fear. I'll tell you what, I've never, ever in my life been more at peace than I was through this situation. God just blessed me with knowledge and strength and just comfort in knowing that he was right by my side and that he was going to take care of things for me and provide for us and he did and I never questioned that you know and that has really taken me to a different level in my faith and I always thought that my faith was strong previously but really like where it's taken me and uh, really blessed to have gone through this and be a vessel for him in that I can save lives through my circumstances. You know, some people go through troubled spots and they question God and whether he's there and why would he do this to me, you know, and quite honestly, I've never ever felt that. I've gone through quite a few hardships in my life and struggles and I never questioned whether God was there. I was very thankful that he was part of my life because I couldn't imagine going through the experiences I went through without him. So, you know, when you're going through a rough spot, don't question God. Don't question that he's there. Take faith, take, take comfort in knowing that he is there and he brought you to it and he'll bring you through it. It's just been a very empowering thing. And, uh, you know, we had miracle after miracle after miracle occur during this time. You know, God literally showed me what was wrong with my body. Uh, I haven't fully shared this anywhere with the public. My friends I have, but not the public. And what happened is I felt led to purchase a uh, ionic foot bath. I've used them before. They're wonderful. And I couldn't wait to get it and use it. And ends up that... I get it, and when I read the pamphlet, it said that, you know, I couldn't use it because if you if you have implants, you shouldn't use an ionic foot bath. I thought, wow, that's really weird, but I used it before I had them. But the other thing is it made sense because um, it could possibly cause my body to fight them. And some people use them and, and don't have any problems, but it alerted me. So I searched, good old Google, and second thing on the search, when I searched for that, and to check that and to do my due diligence was that uh, breast implant illness it was like a neon sign flashing on that screen in front of me. And I clicked on that and I was just in awe. My mouth dropped open and there I sat thanking God for revealing to me finally after doing all my research and searching and knowing I had symptoms of all these many things and was suffering from all these many things. But I couldn't figure out, nor could the doctors, without laughing at me, what was wrong with me. So I knew right then and there that God had revealed to me what was wrong. And for some of you, that may be, like, really weird. I've always wanted and prayed that God would talk to me. You know, you read about it in the Bible, and you hear people say how God talks to them. And I wanted that so bad. And I've always prayed for that. And my time came. And... I, uh, he has taught, he has spoken to me and shared with me one what was wrong with me, and then at one thirty in the morning the next night he woke me 
and had me searching things on the internet. And everything I searched brought up Dr. Kolb. Everything. No matter what I searched, she came up. And I did my research. I researched other doctors. I researched other doctors in the area closest to me. But nobody did the procedures that she did. And nobody did the detox protocol that she did. And I just knew God was leading me to her. And I read her book. But something that I need to express is that the next morning I woke up and I said to the mountain man, I said, you know, we've got to do this. I said, God had me up all night. And this is the woman that just kept popping up. I checked her credentials. I checked, you know, checked and rechecked everything and really feel that God is leading me to her. And I know we don't have the money to do this at the time and right now. We don't have two pennies to rub together, but we have each other, and we're taking one day at a time, and God will see us through this. I just, I know he will. I have comfort in that. And he got me down there and back for my surgery. I made, I made my appointment the next day and booked my appointment with Dr. Kolb and uh, had previously done some testing and... About a week after I booked my appointment with Dr. Kolb, I got my results back that confirmed what God shared with me. And uh, a little bit more confirmed that I had cancer and it confirmed that I had Lyme disease. And it also confirmed that I was extremely high in metals and extremely high in biotoxins, mold, fungus. I had off the chart numbers of strep and staph and that was because of the infections inside my body so you know God had me on this path and led me for a reason and by the grace of God I am blessed with such amazing friends my dear friend Vicki Lynn Haycraft from realfoodliving.com check her out she's a sweetheart she started a fundraiser for us when I shared with her what was going on and I love all of you that contributed. I love you all anyway, but those of you that contributed helped save my life, and I am forever indebted to you because without your uh, donations on our fundraiser, we would not have been able to make it down to Georgia and back. And uh, another little miracle that happened down there, I shared it last week on the radio show. Um, Dr. Kolb had given me some prescriptions to fill and they do have a pharmacy there and I got some that I could there but we our insurance company does not cover prescriptions up front you have to pay for them and then be reimbursed and uh, ask the guy at the counter what they would cost so I knew and it was seven hundred and forty three dollars we had three hundred dollars to our name and I said to my mountain man what do, what do you think he goes, you got here on faith, didn't you? And you put your faith in God for everything else. Why would you stop now? I just smiled at him. Knowing full right that he was completely right with what he was saying. So gave the man the scripts and picked up a little bit of food that we needed and waited and put everything on the counter and he rang us up. And it was like $271. And I said, are you sure about that? He goes, yeah, I gave you a discount. So, <laughs> and before, I should say, before that happened, we had gone to an aisle where there weren't any people and just said a little prayer, you know, lifting it up to God and putting our faith in Him and trusting. And Now, keep in mind, we needed that $300 that was in the account to get home that was going to cover our luggage and our rental car, and we were a little short even then. And uh, God provided every penny we needed. We came home and we had $27.43 to our name. So God is good and I give him all the glory. This has just been an unbelievable experience to see his hand at work, to see so many people coming together and helping. And it's been a humbling experience because, you know, we're the ones usually on the giving side of things, not on the receiving. And uh, it was really humbling to receive, 
but one of my friends told me many years ago, dear Julie, that, you know, when you don't receive a gift from somebody that you're stopping them from being able to bless you. And she's got a good point. I wouldn't want to be stopped from trying to bless somebody else. So it was just something that we had to learn and part of the learning process that God was sharing with us. But it was really amazing. Really, really amazing. And like I said, I just feel very blessed to have been the vessel that God chose to help educate people on this and to try to help others. Right now, we have helped, uh, that we're aware of, seven people find answers. And so thankful for that. So very thankful. And God bless you all. And if you need help and have questions, don't hesitate to email me. I might not be able to get back to you immediately, but I will get back to you. I'm kind of scurrying right now trying to keep up with all the hundreds of emails that come in and the backlog that I had to go through. So bear with me. But we've got so many really awesome, awesome things uh, going on in May. May 15th, you will find the Mount, well, the whole family will be in Spokane, Washington at the Sustainable Preparedness Expo and uh, encourage you to come join us. You can find the link in the show notes, and I will be talking more about that upcoming. I'd also really, really love for you to join me on Periscope. It's periscope.tv, P-E-R-I-S-C-O-P-E dot TV slash Trayer Wilderness. I'm going to be doing, and I have been doing live videos. It just fits my schedule when it, when I'm feeling good, I just pop in there. I do uh, feed those videos on YouTube, so you'll see them at a later time on YouTube. Uh, so if you miss me on Periscope, you can catch them there. And uh, Instagram would be another great place. I'm really trying to communicate more with our audience. So Instagram.com slash Trayer Wilderness. And also on Facebook, facebook.com slash Trayer Wilderness. I really encourage you to join us and chat with us. And you have to get on to Instagram and check out the amazing heart that my beautiful Rhodesian Ridgeback found for me while we were out hiking. That's something also that's a little funny story for those of you that may not be following me long. God has gifted me with the ability to find hearts of all shapes and sizes in all kinds of locations. I've found frothy uh, hearts in mud puddles. I find little rocks the size of my pinky while I'm walking and hiking at a fast cliff. They just pop at me. And, and then those people that spend time with me and see me doing it, it becomes contagious and they start sharing their hearts with me. It's pretty cool. But she found an elk uh, winter kill and had gotten the backbone and the center piece to the backbone that runs up the spine of the elk is the shape of a heart. Never noticed it before. So I'm foreseeing some interesting jewelry coming out of that in the future. And uh, But check out my Instagram. You'll see all my heart finds. Every time I'm out hiking and walking, I find these amazing little treasures. It's just God telling me that Everything is going to be good and just reminds me how blessed I am. So thought I'd share that with you. And also, the mountain man is extremely busy in his smithy making some really awesome new things. Uh, he made an herbal drying rack that is really very cool. It is, um, It comes apart so you can very easily store it. And it, they are all uniquely hand forged and inexpensive and very multi purpose. You could use it to hang candles on it, you could use it to hang linens on it, you could use it for a clothes drying rack if you needed to. It's very versatile and even hanging jewelry on it. You can find that on our website, it's on the sidebar. And uh, he's just made some really awesome 
mountain man survival knives out of uh, antlers. And I'm very blessed to have his first one. Woohoo. <laughs> and that you'll find on Instagram also. Those are coming soon. And at the expo, he'll have a lot of his wares and handcraft items there as well. We'll also be teaching two classes at the uh, expo. So I encourage you to join us there. It'd be really nice to meet some of you and just to share our knowledge. We really enjoy being able to educate others and share what we know. What good is knowledge if you don't share it? You know. So I just thank you all for joining me, for being a part of our audience and just for all your prayers and love and uh, between the wind and my heavy breathing, I'm sure I've <laughs> it's been quite something today. But I thought, what a great way to share with you. My heart has had so many things on it to share, and and uh, what a great time to do it when I'm out here in God's country and just taking it all in and have my thoughts about me. When I'm out here, I feel so refreshed and just so amazing. It feels good. It feels so good. So I encourage you to get out and walk, exercise in some way every day really feels good. It's really good for you. Also encourage you to pay attention to your diet with me um, detoxing my body. Um, we've already been on a from scratch diet. We've also been on a um, non-GMO diet as well. Occasionally, you know, we would get stuff, you know, some things that were GMO ridden on a splurge. But at this point, I can't do any of that stuff because it triggers my body to go back into its fight mode. So I encourage you to eliminate the GMO foods from your diet because they are really damaging your body and uh, causing you so many more troubles than you would, would and ever could imagine. So consider that. Consider what you're putting in your body. Consider that if you are not on a from scratch diet and you're eating all processed foods that you could be so much healthier and if you don't know how to do it I encourage you to reach out to me at survive at treyerwilderness.com and I will give you a free copy of my cookbook which has tips and tricks on how to do it and get started it also has tips and tricks on gluten free and dairy free cooking as well as sun oven cooking but if you are currently not on a from scratch diet reach out to me that's my gift to you because you need to embrace it you need to be aware of how to cook for your family in the event that foods as we know it today are no longer available and that you have to provide for yourself I fear that time's coming so and just if you have autistic children and can't express how much the diet really makes a difference for your children. My son is 19 and has overcome 97% of his autism tendencies. He just had his wisdom teeth out last week. God love him. Thank goodness he's got a high t pain tolerance. He did really well. Still down today, just feeling a little dizzy. Not quite himself. But um, he's doing real good. And I uh, just encourage you to pay attention to the things you put in your body, how you treat your body. And how much time you get to spend with your family. If you are feeling guilty or missing your family and not feeling like you're spending enough time with them, I encourage you to stop and reevaluate things because, quite honestly, you are in charge of your schedule. And that has been something that God has blessed me with. I'm done racing around and chasing the clock and chasing opportunities and chasing other people's needs that are needs that don't help me and my family. Not that I don't want to help people, but it, there's a safe way and an okay way to say no when you know that at this current time you need to focus on your family. And um, I just want to encourage you that. Everybody struggles with that. They struggle with balance. They struggle with, you know, uh, having enough time for everything. And I encourage you to put God first, because when you put God first in your life, you will be amazed at what he will show you, and how he will guide you, 
and where he will take you because I feel like I've been given a second chance at life here and I've always embraced God and I've always embraced my life and the positive but I'll tell you what this girl's got a whole new perspective on life and I encourage you to embrace that too don't wait for something like I had to go through to make you reevaluate and change things I was already in the process slowing myself down but you really need to listen to your inner self <laughs> but anyway I've been rambling for a while now today and I just thank you for joining me I thank you for your your prayers and uh, if there's any time that we can pray for you don't ever hesitate to reach out to me at survive at treyerwilderness.com or on Instagram or Facebook let me know how we can pray for you because we really do like to give back and we really like to give the best gift ever and that is a gift of prayer and also want to encourage you to check out Dr. Eric Zielinski at drz.com he I believe it's Dr. Eric Z.com my apologies um, did some interviews with him as well and sharing my story and uh, I encourage you to check those out as well. He's got an amazing site, very very knowledgeable, and his site is just loaded with incredible information. And uh, till our next show, guys, I just wish you the best. Hang in there. Spring is on its way. And uh, just enjoy your days. Enjoy the time you have. And remember to check me out on Periscope and chat with me. It's so much fun to be able to communicate with you guys. So have a great day. Until our next show, God bless. You're listening to the Mountain Woman Radio Show, where you will learn something new every week. We hope you enjoyed the show and encourage you to join us at treyerwilderness.com. And be sure to connect with us on iTunes. Remember, your reviews on iTunes are very important to us and help us reach more people just like you.